Hey, what's happening guys? Nick with Classic Nation, and I'm gonna show you my new C10 that I just picked up yesterday. Stay tuned. Here we go, so my new C10, I bought kind of on a whim. I've wanted a C10 for a while, um, but saw a good deal on this short bed, square body, and I've always wanted one. So I'll take you through it. What it is, is it's a 78, one of my favorite ears. I like the round headlights. They changed in like early 80s, I think, to the square, but I like the round headlights, 73 and 78. Um, a lot of things I don't know about this truck so far. It's got a small block V8, which I know. I don't know if it's a 305 or a 350. I can't really tell them on quick inspection. I cleaned up the pad stamp there and there's no numbers at all. So I'm gonna have to get under it, look behind it, do some investigating to figure out what it actually is. But I was able to start it, which was pretty cool. Um, and it's got a 700R4 transmission and it was able to move under its own power. So lots of stuff that I'm gonna fix on it. I'll bring you back there in a second, but overall pretty good. It's gonna need rockers. I'm not a huge fan of the red, but the interior is actually in pretty decent shape for being a 78. I think obviously it was originally a red truck. Um, so somebody put a nice giant tack there, which is nice. Got a stereo there. I did notice that there was a sub in the rear. Um, so that's pretty cool. But overall, decently clean. Somebody bedlined it a long time ago. That's fallen apart. The thing that's kind of crazy to see is somebody put different axles. I don't know if that's a common thing, but an upgrade of an axle to a different axle with beefier um, studs is kind of interesting. I need to jack it up and figure out if it's got a posi or not. Uh, doesn't have a tailgate, but I have a tailgate with it, so I'm good there. It's got the old bed liner in it. But overall, like a solid truck. Somebody tried to make it a little custom. You can see they like got really dark tail lights and stuff. I'll, I'll probably undo some of that. I'm not sure exactly what my overall plan is gonna be with the truck besides get it dialed in, get it running, uh, and then work out the mechanical stuff from there. So that's gonna be the first point of order. Pretty cool truck. The wheels have to go. The wheels are the first thing that have to go. I'm, I'm thinking of going with the the Detroit Steel Wheel Company. I'm looking at their Delrays, so I'm probably gonna do that on the truck. Um, the suspension doesn't have a C-notch in the rear. Looks like it's just lowered coils in the front and then maybe, I don't know, re arch springs or something in the rear. Um, but yeah, overall, just a kind of a solid truck. I'm not a fan of the fiberglass cowl hood, but I bet I can get somebody to trade me the non-cowl hood for the cowl hood, so I'll, I'll trade that. Uh, and get that out of there because I think I like a flat hood better. I also don't like the tube grill, but that's not too big of a deal. But my favorite thing, my favorite thing about this by far, and I noticed this when I first walked up to the truck. See if you can zoom in on that. What we're looking at here is vice grips holding a ground wire. I think that might be the most creative electrical job I've ever seen. Literally, that's the body to engine ground and it's held on with vice grips and oil. Um, so needless to say, I've got some wiring to do ahead of me there, but. What were you saying about the uh, engine stamp? Yeah, so th there's no pad stamp right here on the front. There's no pad stamp. And you were thinking that would be because why? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because it's either, I don't know if it's a 305 or a 350. It's either, a, you know, a crate engine that didn't have a pad stamp on it, or it's an engine that I think has been decked, you know, and had machine work done. So again, I don't know the history of it. I don't know if it's like a fully built small block and just been sitting there. Dad, you got any theories? Uh, well, my theories are all probably dark. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> as dark as the oil covering the intake? That dark? But I, but, what, what, what I will say is I'm rather fond of those Mickey Thompson valve covers. As a pr you better watch out. I might, <laughs> I might appropriate them for my small block Chevy and my square body. But no, it, it's a pretty solid truck, I would agree. Yeah. I'm probably going to swap the carb. It's already got HEI. A lot of wiring to clean up, but... Again, basically, I'll, I'll get it dialed in and, yeah. and let it speak to me. Well, so what's the the economics on this thing? What'd you pay for it? What do you hope to sell it for? Um, I, I don't know yet. I don't know. I know what I paid for it. I don't know what I'm going to sell it f for it. Um, I paid just over three grand um, for the truck. And again, I started it and made sure that it was running good. In some places, that might be, uh, you know, overpaying. But for what the market is on short bed trucks right now, um, I think it wasn't too bad. So... 
again, the rockers are really the only bad part on the body, and I'll be able to fix those no problem. So, yeah. Yeah, so new wheels would go a long way. New wheels would go a long way. Yeah, yeah. Agreed, agreed. So, yeah. There we go. It's got a nice stance. It does. Yeah. Yeah, highly desirable, I think. Yeah. Project Square Body. Yep. I'll put this on the back burner. We'll finish that one first, and then uh, there'll be more of this one coming up. Deal. All right.